The overall goal of this procedure is to microinject and localize Borrelia burgdorferi cells in the tick gut. This is accomplished by first preparing the glass capillary needles and filling them with B. burgdorferi cells. Next, the B. burgdorferi cells are transferred into the tick gut via microinjection. The tick is then dissected and the gut tissues are removed. Finally, immunofluorescence labeling of B. burgdorferi in the tick gut is performed. Ultimately, results can be obtained that demonstrate localization of B. burgdorferi in the tick gut using confocal microscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Ruth Paul Paul, uh, Assistant Professor at the University of Maryland in the Department of Veterinary Medicine. Today, two of my lab members, uh, Toru Cairo, uh, a postdoctoral fellow, and uh, Adam Coleman, a graduate student, uh, will show you the procedure for uh, artificial infection of ticks via microinjection uh, that we uh, routinely do in the laboratory. After microinjection, we'll dissect the tick and uh, uh, image the bacteria in the tick gut using confocal immunofluorescence microscopy. The main advantage of tick microinjection of a generation of naturally infected ticks is the duration of the procedure. Microinjection shortens the whole procedure from weeks to hours, as approximately five weeks are required to generate infected ticks by a natural feeding process. This technique can also be adapted uh, to inject other useful reagents, such as double-stranded RNA for RNAi, or anti-sera for specific antibody interference inside of the tick. To begin, fabricate several micro-injection needles by heating and pulling one millimeter glass capillary tubes in a glass micropipette puller device. Carefully remove the